Hi everyone. In today's video on EGDIS, I will talk about the choice of color palettes that you have in the equipment. So we'll talk about the different color palettes and how to choose them from the equipment. So please make sure that you watch the video till the end because after giving you guys a background on the color palettes, I'll actually show you uh, how to choose the color palette on the EGDIS equipment. Now remember that of course uh, the equipment that I'll show you may be a bit different from what you have on your ship but the basic remains the same. So if you can see here I am showing you the day and night palette but on the screen of the EGDIS screen I'll also show you the dusk palette as well it's because uh, color is an important part of uh, the charted information. Uh, with paper charts, of course, you have land and shallow water that are displayed as colored areas of an otherwise uh, white chart. Now, the same color combination is also used with the electronic navigation charts with the main background color being white. Now, this means that the electronic display uh, at night would provide a significant source of light pollution on the bridge of a vessel. Now, reducing the brilliance of the display would also reduce the intensity of the light pollution and improve the night vision of the operator. However, if you reduce the brilliance, you will not be able to see or it will be difficult to view the color against the dimmer white background. So if it becomes dimmer, of course, the brilliance is reduced, the glare is reduced, but also the information that you are trying to obtain from the screen is reduced as well. So of course, one of the first colors apparently that starts to disappear is magenta, which provides a lot of uh, warning information to the mariner. Now to overcome this problem, the electronic navigation charts are provided with some alternate color palettes such as the day mode, the dusk mode and the night mode that I'll show you later. And these replace the white of the chart with the black and uh, they also use duller versions of the land uh, in yellow color to reduce the screen glare. Now other colors remain as for the full daylight display and these show up against the black background color. You will see that when I show you the demonstration, you will see that. So in low light conditions also you can see the screen and obtain the right information from it. All right, so remember that color is a very crucial part of uh, understanding the charted information on the, on the chart and getting information from it. And it is vital that mariners are familiar with these alternate color combinations that are available under the different palettes. So let's now see how to choose these color palettes from the EGDIS equipment. So now I'll show you how you can choose the right color palette from the EGDIS. So just go to view, go to palette intensity and then you can see there are three options here, day, dusk and night. Right now the day mode was operating so I have chosen the dusk mode now. And after a while you can see how in the on the EGDIS the dusk mode displays the land and the sea features and the essential navigation features. Of course uh, because this is a computer screen and there is not much changing on the computer look out there but depending on whether you're navigating at day or night or dusk you will choose the right color palette for navigation and you can see with the different color palettes how the uh, way that the egg disk displays the geographical and the uh, land and the water features and the essential features of navigation those colors also change you have similar modes on the arpa as well you can choose that as well so if you're navigating at night you can choose a similar day and night patterns on the arpa and it displays the uh, display accordingly because that is suitable for the time of the navigation so here you can see this is the day mode again and that's how you choose the palette 